all of these, we look to prioritize position over possession. So if I'm thinking of a 50-50 puck scenario and a puck's on a wall, we don't want to put possession above our body positioning. Too often, especially at the minor hockey level, you'll see a puck get to that half wall and two players race for it and they get it to it at the same time and it becomes a stick battle for someone to win that puck. Where there was the opportunity as they were racing for that puck to focus on winning body positioning, winning lane, and now that they're in front of their opponent, now they have the opportunity to kind of control that situation and make a decision instead of keeping it 50-50 and just battling with their stick. So whatever progression we're in of battle here, we always want to try and make sure we prioritize position over possession. And so for our first area we're going to look at will be our 50-50, our loose puck battles. Um, instead of telling you what they look like, I'm going to kind of show you what they look like. And so essentially just a loose puck battle here. Crosby cuts hands of opponents, wins lane. Same thing here at Taze. There's loose puck on the wall. He's getting hit position and getting to puck. Marchand, exact same thing here. Puck's been chipped in the corner. He gets around opponent, wins hit position, gives him a little bump. Can happen off face-off plays as well. Uh, pucks gets one back here. Doesn't go straight to puck. He goes to body position, gets to establish puck, looks to make a play. Same thing here with Kopitar. He's got two players on him instead of necessarily racing right for the puck he holds them off wins hip position wins lane is able to extend play uh, and make a play same thing here with crosby making his way towards a 50 50 puck he wins his body position gets to maintain puck make a play towards the teammate so fairly simple stuff here um when it comes down to loose pucks and 50 50 battles i think we all kind of understand uh what those look like um but the key factors are what's important. So when we think about this as skill development coaches and we look at those situations, we're thinking of these as team coaches and we look at those situations, we need to identify what are the key factors that lend themselves to success. And so in this situation, we talked about it already, but position over possession. So our ability to win our lane as we're making our way to our puck, our route or our line of protection, as we win that lane and we make our way to the puck, are we able to maintain that line of protection, keep ourselves in between um, our opponent and that puck? Did we do a good job of anticipating the puck path? How's our player skating ability? What's their body positioning? How's their situational awareness? All these kind of factors allow us the opportunity to dictate the play so we can extend plays. We can use our skills a little bit more and are what we should be focusing on as, as coaches. Now we're going to talk about kind of, that was the theory of how that works. Let's kind of put things into play and show you how that actually works out. So loose puck, 50-50 battles here. We're going to make our way through some drill progressions. The first one we're going to do, we're focusing simply on our body positioning. So there's no puck involved. We've just created the gate where it's a little foot race. And we're teaching our athletes how to use their body to win lame. As we get into the sequencing stage, it's the same thing where one of these players has a working rep. The other player is just there kind of as a, a passive pylon. But we're adding in the element of the puck that they're once again having to race to win that lane. But now we're adding in that they're actually having to handle puck. And you can do it where they're beside each other or different situations where maybe they're facing one another. Then we can move into specific game situations. So what we did in this patterning phase is some D retrievals. So puck is getting chipped in. We're making sure that we take lane. We're making sure we maintain line of protection. And then we can add in a little bit of deception if we want to along the way. And then eventually progress to real live battles. No advantage for either athlete. It's a 50-50 puck. And we're looking to try to take that puck towards the net. Whoever ends up coming out on top. <laughs> 